Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. Tesla's still running without showing any signs of slowing down. At one stage, the stock price hit $230, a price we haven't seen since October last year, which is actually close to $700 pre-split price to give some historic comparison. Sometimes Tesla's stock price just has a mind of its own and will run for no apparent reason. Seriously, we're up over 30% from just a few weeks ago now. That is a massive increase. And what do we have to show for it since? Well, it all seemed to have started from the shareholder meeting. The new announcements there were were obviously the reasons for this rise. Except, what new announcements? There was basically nothing said at that meeting other than the fact that Tesla will trial some advertising. The only other bit of good news since then of any effect is the fact that Tesla now qualifies for the full tax credit for the Model 3 in the US. But this is just for one model, for one market, and previously it qualified for half the credit anyway. And before that, it did also qualify for the full credit, and then it dropped to just half the credit, and the stock price barely reacted to that either. And people are realizing you can buy a Model 3 for well under $30,000 in some states, which seems like insane value. But it's not enough to drive the stock up this much either. I think investors are becoming less fearful of Tesla again, less gun-shy after the dramatic drop we saw at the end of last year. The economy is looking less dark, and investors seem to be less worried about market crashes, financial crisis, or worsening recessions, and instead are looking more to the recovery, or even another potential bull run. And what happens in bull runs? Investors look more to the future returns and gains, rather than focusing more on value and dividends for quick returns. They feel more comfortable having their investments tied up for longer periods, as they know their return will be substantially better than a 3% annual dividend. Tesla has increased 10 times that in the last few weeks. Why tie up money for such low returns when there's a chance it could go up another 100% over the next few years? Investors are less concerned about losing their jobs or other investments or their businesses' income dwindling if the economy feels more stable and they don't need to worry about selling investments or investing for income. They aren't worried about rates rising further to make it harder to get by. There's more confidence in the economy and then that confidence will eventually proliferate again to spending and people might even feel more comfortable even buying a brand new car. Then companies start reporting increases in profits and the stock prices start to run again. Investors have more money in the market or other investments and then feel comfortable buying consumer items, perhaps even like brand new cars. Rinse and repeat, we enter another bull run. But the economy has a certain set of rules. It has a boom, then a crash, then a recovery, rinse and repeat. Well, kind of, but check historic charts and see if they all agree with you. The economy can do absolutely whatever it wants. No one can predict it. I've read books written by some very, very intelligent hedge fund managers, but they never saw the likes of Black Monday coming or other such events, although their funds were still relatively hedged better than most during such fiascos. Anyway, if we see the bull run, eventually we enter FOMO, where we saw before and everyone starts buying in again. AI is going to be the future. Test them make AI cars and robots. It may take years and years, but they are further ahead than everyone else. No one comes close. Everyone else will have to license their technology, etc. Except we really don't know how long it will take, despite all that being true. The market can get ahead of itself at times, until in reality it sees how slow sometimes these technologies take. On the other hand, there can also be continual breakthroughs at any stage. You just don't know. Anyway, the point is that Tesla hasn't really announced anything major to take the stock to what is essentially a 10-month high. Really, tell me what amazing news has come out lately. Sure, there's always some little things, but, but we all know what the major catalysts are that we're anticipating. A Model 3 refresh and new specs. Mexico to break ground. Tesla to start advertising and informing the US how little the cost of ownership is for a Tesla in the country, promoting better safety than a Mercedes at a lower cost than a Toyota. Seriously, let the people know. An announcement of the reveal of the Gen 3 platform and vehicle with specs and pricing, like the Cybertruck reveal. Right now, anything like this would be like pouring fuel on the fire, and it would send the stock price flying, given the current circumstances. Personally, I think this month we are bound to see a Model 3 Highland come off the production line, most likely in Shanghai. It sure feels like they're up to something there, given everything we've seen and heard. Sure, a lot of people say it's just a minor update or an attempt to boost demand or whatever, but even if it is, then right now, given the sentiment for the stock, it will be taken as positive. 
So I think we should get that boost. Then probably the next boost would be the earnings call. Like I've said, I'm not expecting anything exciting from deliveries or the financials, but no one really is, and it's not going to be any big surprise. However, Elon appears to be in good spirits around Tesla right now and feeling positive and motivated going by the shareholder meeting. If he can relay some of that energy in the Q2 earnings call, then that will be contagious to investors too. Almost as if Elon knows something we don't about some sort of breakthrough. I think this event might be what levels up the stock price the most, if it is a positive earnings call. Elon will likely reinforce the fact Cybertruck is going to start production this year. In fact, at the time of the call, he may even say this quarter, which would be Q3 at the time. Investors seeing confidence in Cybertruck is really going to affect the stock price. I mean, the product's not even going to be that big a moneymaker relative to a $1 or $2 trillion stock price, but it gives investors confidence that if Tesla can achieve Cybertruck, a product so unimaginably extreme and complex, then they can do everything else they're setting out to. Even if it's a couple of years late or so, Tesla investors are forgiving. They understand what Elon and Tesla are doing, are so revolutionary and it will take time and they'll face unforeseen hurdles along the way. It's the fact that Tesla managed to tackle such hurdles and eventually accomplish them is what matters. As we know, there are a lot of valuable products in Tesla's pipeline that if achieved, makes it the most valuable company in the world. So any more signs of positivity that gives confidence they can be achieved will do wonders for the stock. But Elon set a relatively low bar for the entire year anyway. The targets of production were not too extreme for the year, around 1.8 million. Tesla produced 440,000 in Q1. That's already a 1.76 million year run rate. It's going to take very little ramping there to reach 1.8 million. Tesla will likely beat that low expectation, and that too will help the stock. Although most Tesla bulls think it will be closer to 2 million. Personally, I can't quite get that high with the numbers myself. And then Cybertruck target of Elon preparing everyone that ramping will be very slow for that vehicle, and this year's production will not be high. We expect just a few thousand perhaps. Again, a low bar set, which will mean there shouldn't be much disappointment. And in fact, I think investors will just be happy enough to see it on the production line. And then to see them driving around on public roads, it actually came to fruition. And then the other target for the 4680 sales not to be ramped up until next year. Therefore, no high expectations for that this year either. And to be honest, I'm not even sure many people even care about them being ramped up next year either. No one seems to ever even talk about it. And Tesla have the Panasonic 4680s as backup next year anyway, in order to ramp up Cybertruck. Most investors are looking forward to the Gen 3 vehicle now anyway, which it sounds like will also qualify for the full tax credit if the Model 3 standard does. Anyway, if we could just get a few announcements and some more signs for Tesla growing, I think we could see that stock price really level up again. And my point is, the bar hasn't even been set that high. Hi there. Thanks. I'm using Verbalate AI video translation and lip sync software. It's pretty amazing. Watch this. I can translate my videos into other languages. For example, I am now speaking Hindi. Namaste. I'm talking about Hindi in the first time, but it's so easy to make it easy to make it easy. Or how about Spanish? Hola, vaya, increíble. También puedo hablar español. Sign up at verbalate.ai today to gain early access to trial the product for creators and strategic partners and gain the ability to translate and lip sync videos in all major languages. You can view the info in the description below.